Hey everyone, this is Eternum Knight bringing you some Diablo 4 gameplay. Uh, I just want to take some um, some time right now to uh, you know talk about my build. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of builds lately and trying to compare it to my build as far as damage numbers and all that. And you know I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say this is the best build, the most overpowered build, but I don't think it's a complete crap build either. <laughs> so you know, especially uh, there hasn't been a lot of necromancy uh, builds out there. Especially for the blood uh, aspect of things. Um, everybody's doing corpse and minions and reaper with the shadow damage. And there really hasn't been a lot of blood builds. So I just want to take some time here and show you guys my build. So first I'll start off with the abilities. I mean, and also let you guys, um, big, you know, let you guys judge whether or not it's good for you. So starting off with the abilities, um, we have hemorrhage, which will be your basic skill. It's going to give us the blood orbs that we'll need. To not only gain health, but also do more damage, and you'll see why. Uh, blood Searches will be our main source of damage. It literally, it's, it, this kind of, this build is going to be like a burst, a tank. It's almost like a jack of all trades uh, type of build, but you know, it's definitely unique. We have here uh, Corpse Tendrils, so this is going to apply vulnerable to the enemies. Uh, Blood Mist is our get out of CC jail free card, <laughs> and you'll see how we can use this. Iron Maiden, uh, this is gonna just cast Iron Maiden on the enemies, and we'll get uh, every time they damage us, they'll take damage. And then Bone Storm, which will be helpful not only getting critical strike chance, but it's also gonna give us a shield by one of our imprints and also damage reduction. So, with that go over uh, what points you should put so we'll for we'll hemorrhage we'll just only need one point then we'll go here enhance hemorrhage which will do the blood orb after picking up a blood orb then your next hemorrhage will do uh, damage to everybody else and then init initiates uh, hemorrhage which will give us fortify which will help us with the tanky part we'll go here blood surge which is our main source of damage Enhanced Blood Surge and Paranormal Blood Surge, which will give us the overpower stack after after the fifth one. I have one point into Unliving Energy and three into Imperfectly Balanced, do more damage. One point into Blood Mist, Enhanced Blood Mist, which will um, take down, get the cooldowns. So it'll hopefully be up relatively quickly and then ghastly blood mist which will leave a corpse every one second you know you use blood mist for about three seconds you'll have three corpses then you then you use corpse tendril one point into iron maiden enhance iron maiden which will give us our our essence back or our energy or whatever it is and uh, we'll also heal uh when minions die as well which which is okay if we're not taking damage we're not healing but the overheal will be good um, and one point into corpse, one point into corpse tendril, even though I have three points, that's from my gear, uh, enhance corpse tendril, which will put slow and make enemies vulnerable for three seconds. And we'll put one point here into gruesome mending, uh, three into co coalesced blood, three points into drain vitality, three points into ties of blood. Again, damage, <laughs> um, here, uh, fortify. When we uh, form a corpse, which is good, and then three points into stand alone for damage reduction, and then three points into memento mori. We're literally sacrificing everything. Uh, Bone storm, which helps us with critical strike chance and damage reduction. Damage reduction, critical strike chance. So, and then we'll have wraith one's vigor, which after 15 seconds of being healthy. The next blood skill will trigger overpower, which is also good for blood surge, and also really good for blood mist, which actually does pretty good damage for some reason. Um, Book of the Dead, Skeletal Warriors, sacrificing it. We're going to have our critical strike chance increased by 5%. Skeletal Mages, we're sacrificing it. Overpower damage is increased by 40%. And Golem, sacrificing Golem, critical strike uh, damage increased. I don't think any of these matter. So these are what I'm sacrificing. And let's go over the the build. So as for, 
As far as my stats, you know, I got almost... I got 3350 attack, 4700 armor, 20, almost 2300 life. I'm not sure if this is in line or up, up to par with everybody else that's around 55 to 60, but... I don't know. As far as I'm clearing everything on World Tour 3 at least. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll have... Um, a lot of intelligence, you know, this helps us with our skill damage. But also, I'm trying to get more willpower for our overpower damage as well. So, you know, we're doing damage on both fronts. So if it's not overpower, our skills are doing damage. When it's overpowered, our skills are doing, doing even more damage. Uh, we got, you know, critical strike chance is almost 20%. But then when you have Corpse Tendril, uh, which I'll show you, we get an extra 10%. And then on bl and then Blood uh, Bone Storm, have an extra 20%. So we'll have, we're hit, literally hitting... 50% critical strike chance all the time. Um, overpower damage, 332%. Vulnerable damage, 44%. So these are all our damage numbers. Um, this is good, damage versus injured, because once they hit the injured state, which is, I think, below 50%, they're going to take even more damage. Um, and then thorns. Thorns is so good. Oh, man. I basically have 1,500 thorn damage, and uh, the enemies, as they hit you, they're going to be taking damage, but while they're hitting you, you're not taking any damage because you're going to have a lot of buffs on you as well. So with the build here, we'll go with the helmet. You know, we got the imprint. We're going to gain armor for four seconds every time we deal damage. Blood Surge, you're literally taking all the enemies <laughs> that's around you because it's this is a close build, close damage build. Um, you're going to be stacking this really quickly. For our chest piece, our imprint is the armor of protection. Uh, imprint of protection. Uh, we'll get a barrier every time we hit an elite enemy, and we don't need to melee them. We're gonna be get, procking this through blood surge. Uh, we'll have the edge master's imprint. You know, this is just another damage increase. For our legs, uh, basic skills grant damage reduction. So as we're trying to get our essence back with the basic skill. We're going to be getting damage reduction as well. Our boots. Uh, we'll have the eluding boots. You know, this is great for whenever we get caught in CC and we get hit. We'll have Unstoppable for four seconds. It's just another get out of CC jail card. For the necklace. Uh, we'll have here the Blood Bathe imprint. You know, this is where our damage is coming from. Blood Surges. No, we'll echo another one. Um, right after we cast the initial one, which dealing 37% uh, less damage from the original Blood Surge. This is good, but we're getting at least half of our damage extra as we cast Blood Surge. Uh, here we have each percent of your maximum life you heal beyond 100% since you won't be taking as much damage. Uh, you'll grant an overpower bonus and it'll stack up to 60%, so more damage. Here, Blood Orbs, every time we create a Blood Orb, it'll reduce our Bone Storm, which is also really good. And as you can see, you know, a lot of the stats on here, we have, you know, Critical Strike Chance, Overpower Damage, you know, 9.1% damage for 4 seconds after picking up a Blood Orb. All of these are really, really good for stacking um, damage. Uh, damage Reduction from Distant Enemies, you know, uh, Fortify Generation, and a lot, and Thorns. You see, I have, for my Necklace, Thorns. For my shield, thorns. And also, the reason why we're rocking the sword and shield is because with the shield, we're going to have 60% block damage reduction, 20% block chance, and then an 80% increase on our main weapon. So, I like the shield a lot. I would never have believed I was going to use a shield with a necromancer, but I find this to be really effective. Uh, for this, look at the imprint. Each time that bone storm damages an enemy, you're going to gain a barrier. So, with this armor protection, when you, when you hit an elite, you're going to gain a barrier. After that barrier is gone, you'll proc uh, blow Bone Storm. You'll have another barrier. And it's just, you're just not getting hit if you're if you're doing it correctly. Uh, with our sword, we have what's uh, the uh, barbed grasping veins uh, imprint. Where we'll gain a 10% critical strike chance for 6 seconds once you cast... Uh, corpse tendril so we're definitely around that 40 50 percent critical strike chance and then of course just more damage um i want to show you guys the paragon really quick so for here this is really good i got this 
from one of the dungeons. A 10% damage to uh, close enemies. So this is the territorial glyph. 10% uh, extra damage to close enemies. And then 10% damage reduction to close enemies. Because they're going to be right up on you. So that is the build. Um, I think it's pretty good. I'm let's go into a dungeon. And I'll let you guys see for yourself. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the build. And uh, see you next time. I cannot do that here. I need more time. I need more time. Like, show me mercy! I need more time. I'm out of essence. I need more time. more essence. You saved my life. Oh, bless you. Required essence. Wouldn't have made it with Enchi. I need more time. I need more time. I'm not ready yet. I lack the required essence.
I need more time. I'm out of essence. I'm not ready yet. of essence. I need more time. I'm not ready yet. I'm low on essence. I need more time. I need more time. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. I need more time. I'm not ready yet. I lack the required essence. And there you have it guys, Nightmare Dungeon complete. I need um, more time. So, you know, I really like this build. Um, let me know what you guys think the build and I'll catch you guys next time.